hi everyone in today's video on ship stability i will teach you guys how to load the vessel to meet the load line requirements as set by the next port so here the question is a bulk carrier is loading in a dock water port of relative density 1.008 she is upright that means there is no list on even keel draft which means the forward and aft draft is the same with the water line 300 mm below the upper edge of the summer load line. The vessel has a summer displacement of 15240 tons which corresponds to a summer draft of 7.20 meters. Using a TPC of seawater 21.4 tons which is a constant calculate the weight or the maximum weight of cargo that can be loaded if the vessel is to load for a tropical zone given that 100 tons of diesel oil is still to be loaded prior to departure. You can see how I have circled the word constant in this question. This means that although the TPC given here is for seawater 21.4 tons, it is a constant. If the question mentions that, that means that the effect of density is not on TPC in this question. The TPC will remain the same irrespective of the density of the water. Now I will show you during the question what if the word constant was not given what could you have done to change the TPC from salt water to dock water. Let's get started with the solution. So you can see in the diagram here itself that currently the vessel is in dock water of 1.008 ton per metric cube. The vessel is going to sea water of 1.025 ton per metric cube. Now you must be wondering that in the question the sea water is not given to me. Well, if it says that the vessel is docking in one port and going to the next and the density of the next port is not given to you, you have to automatically assume that the next port water density will be seawater density. You can see in the diagram how the water line currently in dock water is 300 millimeter below the summer road line. The displacement, the summer draft and the TPC I have mentioned below the ship in the dock water. However, you have to understand that the vessel has to load for tropical load line. That means I can submerge my water line or submerge the vessel up to the tropical load line when the vessel reaches the next port. So if I have to sink the vessel not only up to the summer load line but up to the tropical load line, what do you have to do? So initially remember I can sink the vessel all the way up to the summer load line here and I have to make sure when the vessel reaches the next port the vessel is not submerged beyond the tropical load line. So I can actually load up to tropical load line. So here I know I can load up to 300 millimeter more from water level to summer load line. But also I have to note down that the distance between the tropical and the summer load line is a distance that I can load further up to. So how much is this distance between tropical and summer load line is equal to 1 by 48th of summer draft. That is a known formula. So the summer draft is 7.2 meters given to us in the question 1 by 48 of the summer draft is 0 0.15 meters. That means this distance here is 0 0.15 meter or you convert this into millimeter because everything else is in millimeter. So it is 150 millimeter. So that means you can sink your vessel by 300 millimeter plus 150 millimeter more which equals to 450 millimeter in total. So from water line to tropical load line is 450 millimeters currently in the dock water. We can load up to that. Right. So 0.15 meter of distance will be converted into millimeter by multiplying by 1000 because 1 meter equals 1000 millimeter. All right. So vessel sinkage required currently is 300 millimeter up to summer load line and then 150 millimeter more up to tropical which gives us 450 millimeter. However, your vessel is going from dock water to sea water which means as the density increases the draft will decrease. Therefore, vessel will rise. So when I say draft decreases that means vessel will rise. So more sinkage is possible. Right. So as the vessel rises it becomes lighter more sinkage is possible. Now how much will the vessel rise by is equal to dock water allowance. What is the dock water allowance? Dock water allowance is nothing but fresh water allowance multiplied by 
1.025 minus the dock water density divided by the constant of 0 0.025. However, I don't know what fresh water allowance is currently. So how can I find that out? Fresh water allowance is equal to displacement divided by 4 TPC. Now when I use 4, I get the answer in millimeter. If I use 40 TPC, I will get the answer in centimeter. Displacement was given to me. So is the TPC and so is the constant. So I get the answer 178.04 millimeter. Now remember the TPC I used here is for seawater, although I am loading currently in dock water. But the question tells me that the TPC will remain a constant irrespective of the density. That is to make my life slightly easier for this question. However, if this was not the case, this is what you would have done to convert the salt water TPC to dock water. So salt water TPC would have been 21.4. So that means 21.4 tons of TPC is for 1.025 salt water. What would have been the TPC in dock water of 1.008? So cross multiplication would have been required. X multiplied by 1.025 equals 1.008 multiplied by 21.4 or X equals 1.008 multiplied by 21.4 divided by 1.025 which would have given you an X or TPC of dock water 21.05 tons. However, in this question, you don't have to do this step because it says TPC is going to be constant irrespective of the density. Moving on, now that you have found out freshwater allowance, you put that in the formula for dock water allowance. 178.04 multiplied by 1.025 minus the dock water density divided by 0 0.025 which gives you dock water density allowance of 1.121.07 millimeter. So that means vessel will rise by 12107 millimeter as the vessel goes from dock water to sea water. So that means extra allowance is allowed. You can sink the vessel further by this much distance. So the total sinkage required will be for you from water line to summer load line 300 millimeter, summer load line to tropical 150 millimeter and 121.07 millimeter because the vessel will rise. So all together it gives you 571.07 millimeter. However, TPC given to you for dock water and sea water here is 21.4 tons, which means for one centimeter of sinkage, you can load 21.4 tons. So if you need to sink the vessel by 571.07 millimeter, you have to first convert this into centimeter. Convert to centimeters by multiplying by 10. So millimeter to centimeter is multiplying by 10 which gives you 57.107 centimeters to be sink. So weight required to sink the vessel by 57.107 centimeters is 57.107 multiplied by TPC which gives you the weight 1222.09 tons. However, this is not the final answer because you also have to load the diesel oil of 100 tons first. So you load the diesel oil of 100 tons first and then you whatever is remaining is the maximum weight of the cargo to be loaded. So you need to load a weight of 1222.09 tons but out of that 100 tons is diesel oil. So the remaining weight to be loaded is the maximum cargo to be loaded. This is the answer. So guys I hope this video helped you to understand some of the intricate concepts, some of the delicate concepts of ship stability, numericals and questions. If there is something I missed please let me know in the comment section below and I will address it to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and I will see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.